What's up YouTube? This is a nice lower tier battle I had. Uh, I think I had it yesterday or something. Uh, this one was up against Titan, so uh, let's get to a question of the day first. So, what Pokemon do you want me to use on my uh, live stream tomorrow or in my uh, my uh, next team? Um, I'm in the process of making a, a team. I'll probably have it done by uh, today or tomorrow. So. Um, I'm looking for some last minute entries and uh, considerations for my team. Um, there's still sort of maybe one spot open uh, that I'm sort of half thinking about. But uh, leave a comment in the comment section now if you can, that'd be awesome. Uh, also leave a like on the video, that'd be really sweet. Okay, let's have a look at this team anyway. So we've um, got quite a bulky looking team here. We've got uh, Red Guys, I haven't, seen, um, haven't seen him before. And uh, we've got Behemoth, uh, Propass, Chadot, Stunt, <laughs> the mighty Stunfisk, and uh, Vileplume. So some real tanks in here, uh, definitely. So this was going to be, uh, I knew this was going to be quite an interesting battle. Now, uh, I thought Probass may be the lead here. I wasn't too sure. Um, there was a couple of pokes that could actually uh, fill like, the spot in. So I thought I'd go uh, different and leave with my Ludicolo this time. But it turns out it's going to be Vileplume. Uh, so straight away, I knew there'd be like, this thing would have Sludge Bomb, uh, so I just threw up Protect just to sort of see if my uh, prediction was right, and it was, so uh, that's alright. There's not uh, a lot Ludicolo can really do to that other than sort of do a burn. Now, uh, straight into Cast Form here. Now, it's not often that I <laughs> swap Cast Form into Attack because he's this so incredibly weak in his defenses. Now, I actually hit with Blizzard this time and I do some nice damage here. Look at that damage, just over half damage. I was really happy with that. Uh, Casform doing some nice work there on um, one of the stronger like walls in uh, the team. So after that, I think Black Sludge, I'm guessing it is. It's about half health, so I was happy with that. Um, it was good. Now straight into Bravery here. So I just went, um, I went straight here for, um, I think I went straight for the superpower because I knew that he would swap. I was hoping he'd go into Nose Pass, thinking that I'd Brave Bird, but um, I'm not sure if. He was thinking to go into Nose Pass, I'd say not Nose Pass, Pro Pass, but um, I, I definitely thought it'd be a, uh, a possibility going through uh, his mind uh, for uh, for certain. So unfortunately I get Static there by Stunfist, which really sucks because uh, I'm not really as fast anymore. Even with Choice Scarf, I'm not really fast. So I'm sort of going to save him for later and um, chuck in my Ludicolo here. Uh, Ludicolo was really good against this team. Um, I just noticed in the team matchup, I knew that he would have a lot of trouble with it. Uh, if I could get past just a couple of the counters, um, I, I knew it'd be very strong against this team. So uh, I can see that it's a, like a sort of bulky sort of stuff here. So I know that's not going to really like a scold or anything. So that's going to be swapped out. And uh, in comes the red guys. So this thing's like so bulky in special defense. I mean, really bulky. Um, so I wasn't really expecting to do a lot of damage for me. But uh, a lot of the, most of the time, it doesn't have a lot of physical or special presence, so I thought, right, let's stay in and see what it's got. Um, like, it, it could be, like, it might be, a, I wasn't sure what it would be, like, a curse set or, like, charge beam or, can't, like, can't, anything like that. Uh, but it's going to be, like, a utility with uh, Thunder Wave, of course, so two of my pokes are paralyzed already. I'm, I'm absolutely joyful, joyous about that, and, uh, uh, but I thought, well, it's not the end of the world. Uh, Ludicolo isn't the fastest anyway. What well, set I'm running isn't the fastest, so it wasn't all that, that bad, really. Um, he's just going to go straight for Thunderbolt. Absolutely does nothing to me. Um, I get paralyzed, unfortunately. There, I was going to. Uh, I think I was going to go for a skull, see if I could get a burn off on this thing. Um, but Leech Seed was uh, doing, pulling most of the work anyway, which was good because uh, I wasn't too sure if Red Guys had any form of recovery. I know the only form of recovery it had would be rest. So I wasn't really sure um, what would that do. So obviously, Red Guys is going to come out. It can't really do much to me at all. Um, so into this uh, Behemoth, I've used Behemoth like a lot of times and I know how much, how strong it is in special attack, especially with analytic. Um, it's good that I swapped it into a skull because I got the burn there, that's that's good. Um, I was a little bit worried though because this thing can hit very, very hard and if it has like, I wasn't sure if it had specs or nasty plot or anything like that. Like I, I really didn't know, but it turns out it had a nasty plot so I knew this thing would hit very, very hard. Um, it's got amazing special attack as well with that analytic boost, of course. So here I sort of chose to swap out. So I thought I might go for like Psychic or maybe Psy Shock. So I just thought, well, I might be able to live this terribly with Kadabra or something, like with min damage. But he's going to go for Recover and get most of his health back. Um, 
So that's not good for me because he was sort of in KO range, but not definitely not anymore um, there. So I thought, well, I might go for Carmine because he may sort of think I'll attack and get like another nasty plot off. And I might, like, I might be able to take uh, the attack a little bit better. Um, but since he's got that nasty plot boost up, like plus one, and Analytics is going to take me out quite easily. And uh, that's Kadabra down. So a little bit of a risky play there. I had to sort of go for a risky play, and it didn't really pay off. Um, sometimes it pays off, sometimes it doesn't. That's sort of how it goes. So straight into Lux right here. Um, even without the guts, I know that I can take this thing out with Crunch. Um, just Lux Ray's awesome attack, and he's probably not going to be swapping out with a nasty plot up and three quarters of his health left. So that's Bohemian out of the way, which is good. Uh, I knew that I have terrible speed, but after I took it out, I could access my uh, my flame orb for guts as well. So in comes Probabas. There's absolutely nothing I can do to this thing. Uh, I knew that it would go for Earth Power because that's the most common move it has, uh, aside uh, Power Gem, of course. Um, so Ludicolo is going to easily take that. So Ludicolo is such a good check for most of these pokes. Um, look how much that critical hit did. Um, it was really handy. So it was very, very important to keep him alive uh, in this battle as my team would just fall apart completely um, without him. So one of the there's a couple of checks that he that um, I really couldn't do really like amazing to is that Chaddock and this Vile Plume. I was hoping that I could get past them, um, which is good. Um, well, I get the burn, which is really nice there as well. So after that burn, I was thinking, well, no, he won't go for a sludge bomb. He'll go for moonlight instead. I, I most most of them have moonlight as recovery. Um, like he won't risk losing the vile plume. There's, there's definitely no chance of him doing that. So I we just went straight into Lux right here, and I knew that I get a free swap in, and moonlight would happen. Um, so that's okay. Like I didn't take any damage there. I knew that I wouldn't go down to one hit from Vile Plume because Luxray is deceivingly bulky for a sweeper as well, and that's why I like him so much. And um, yeah, the best move I could go here was uh, with Facade because I got that burn now and with Guts, and I knew that it'd do some nice damage. Probably not take it out, but get very close. So that damage was very impressive there. Uh, the best that can do is as um, Vile Plume can do is Giga Drain and uh, gets enough health back, but doesn't quite get enough back after that burn. And it's going to take away the black sludge, and even if like there was no burn, it um, facade would have definitely taken it out anyway. So I was really happy to try and get past the thing. I th I sort of thought he may go into uh, pro bass there to take the facade and like absolutely do nothing, but maybe he didn't want to break sturdy. It didn't have sturdy. I'm not sure what ability he had. Maybe it had magnet pool. Wasn't sure if it had sturdy or anything. So I just went for facade. My bachelor option. So into Chadot, I knew this thing would be like a um, like you know the usual nasty plot boom burst sort of thing. So just in case he just went for straight off for a boom burst off the bat, uh, I went into um, Turtle here. And plus he can resist most of his moves as well, and at least probably take one. Uh, so he's going to go for the nasty plot boosted Chadot. This move is really strong because it not only does it hit hard with him, it also has a confusion uh, like raid as well. Now my my strategy here was to go for a Rock Tomb and uh, hit it for a super effective to get it down to its Sash, obviously, because I knew it would have Sash. And um, get a speed drop on it because it's got it's obviously running um, Timid. That was the only... I knew that it would be running Timid because it relies on... has to have Timid. It was a, its sweeping capabilities and nowhere uh, near as good like on a modest one. So he's going to hit me with Boom Burst. That's going to take me out. I'm, a, I'm more of a uh, defensive wall anyway, so I wasn't too worried about that. I didn't really need him much more in this battle. Uh, he sort of set the stage to uh, swapping my Lux Ray and um, outspeed with um, a Crunch here. And there wasn't a lot of point swapping his Chatter out after and losing that not like that nasty plot boost and everything like that. So I was happy to get past that. That was pretty much Ludicolo's uh, counters taken care of. So I, I, I sort of looked at, I looked at and thought a lot about uh, what could counter it. Um, so anyway, in comes Stunfist, I went straight for Ice Fang here, I knew I'd do some nice damage, but I get a crit, and I get a flinch there, so that was amazing luck there. Um, but I, in the long run, it didn't really matter too much, because I had like a faster poke to swap in after, and I was already going to faint this turn anyway, so... Um, like, that was it was good fortune getting that, but I don't think it really would have changed the uh, stage of the game too much. Um, even though that I am paralyzed, I am choice scarfed as well, and I doubt that thing would have any speed, so I was going to sort of out speed that anyway. So um, that's Stunfist down there. So we got Flays. <laughs> okay. Um, so the last folks left were Reg Ice and 
uh, sorry, and Provas. I was down to my last two as well, so I sort of had to play this one pretty smart. I knew he'd probably go for Ice Beam, so as I said, my Ludicolo was a great sort of counter um, for this red guy, so I knew that I could... I was confident that I could get past it at least, if I didn't get Parahax too much. That was that was the question uh, at the moment. And I knew that I could completely dominate Provas. Um, he couldn't do anything to me, and I could pretty much two-shot two with Scold. Uh, as well. So getting that leech seed off there was really important not being parahaxed. Um, I was really happy about that. Um, that was that was great because uh, it's already down to half health and um, leftovers plus leech seed is a fantastic recovery uh, as well, especially if you're sorry about that, especially if you're running protect as well. Look how much recovery that goes. Like really good. So I went for protect there but I get uh, parahax which sucks. Uh, he's just going to keep going for ice beam. That's probably the best thing to do. It's um, stab is doing the most damage. Um, like I do have a form of recovery myself, but um, obviously I was a bit, uh, I didn't really want to waste it because I only had a, a couple of it. And I wasn't sure if this thing had rest or not at this point in the game. I wasn't too sure. Okay, so I get my rest, uh, sorry, I get my protect off this time. And um, I'm going to get like my double recovery from the lefties and leech seed. There was, uh, there was no point in me using like scold against the thing. It's just doing minimal damage. And like I may or may not get a burn as well. It wasn't, it was a little bit up in the end. I didn't really want to uh, risk that on such low health either. Because it, it could have quite easily crit me as well. So uh, it turns out it did have rest. Um, which wasn't too bad. Because here I thought, well, if it, you know, I wasn't sure what item had, if it had like a, um, like the Chesto Berry, but it did, so um, that sort of happens. I just went for Synesis here because I knew that this would be a good opportunity to get most of my health back. Um, so I was thinking, well, it clearly doesn't have like Sleep Talk or anything like that. Now if I can get it, get it down to like a low amount of health let, um, and just sort of like, I could easily force, uh, force it to go to sleep again and swap in my Bravery and use Superpower and that would absolutely annihilate it. So, um, like that was a worst case scenario and I was happy to do that because it can't really touch me uh, my Ludicolo at all like it's doing even if I get paralyzed I'm getting loads of health back with uh, like like leftovers and leech it as well so if I even if I get like paralyzed three or four times in a row um, it's just gonna do loads to the regular it's just purely with leech seed as you can see um, now the, the problem was I needed to get past this though because uh, I really sort of needed Ludicolo for Probabas uh, as well I mean, I wasn't sure if uh, Provas had Sturdy or not. I, like, I wasn't sure, or unless it was like a Magnet Pool set. So I had, I was running Superpower on Bravery, but I didn't know whether it would, um, uh, like, it had Sturdy or not. So I didn't really want to risk that. Plus, it, it did have, does have a good chance of living as well, and just with those gigantic defenses. So um, there's nothing really. There's a lot of a hell of a lot um, Red Ice can do. There's no point swapping into Provas because. That skull is just gonna uh, hit it so hard. So the really, I had uh, I had Reggie Ice uh, stuck in a really good position. Like it couldn't swap. It couldn't swap. And the only option it could do was go for a rest or go for a critical hit. And those ice beams were starting to run out as well. Um, it hit me with quite a few. So like once it once it stopped, um, once it sort of ran out of them, it could only go for Thunderbolt and that'd be hitting even like less. So yeah, I'm just going to go for Synesis here, um, get my health back, just in case I went for rest again. I was getting already getting prepared to swap in my Bravery um, for that rest, but um, it's going to be going for an Ice Beam here. And uh, that Leech Heat is going to take Reggie Ice out. So that was sort of, um, it was very long, but it sort of was inevitable. It just wasn't doing enough damage to me uh, with that Leech Seed and Lefty's recovery. It's really amazing recovery. So the last poke is Probobass here. Uh, the best attack that can hit me with is Power Gem. Um, hits me pretty hard there, gets a crit, so um, that's alright. Um, I still have Scold here, I know that's about a 3 hit KO uh, with no uh, special attack investment. I get the burn there, which was nice, a uh, little bonus there, but I wasn't too worried because I had pretty much had this game already. Um, because none of its move would hit me very effective, and I could just heal them off all day as well. So is it going to go for another power gem? And I think yeah, that doesn't not that doesn't do very much at all. I get power hacks, but uh, what the hell? It doesn't really matter. Um, I've still got that burn doing a little bit of work as well. So a little colo can be quite uh, specially defensive and defensive as well if you get that burn. So it's quite hard to get past. Um, so another power gem there. I think I get hit by another crit there. I just went straight for scold again because I thought, what the hell? This it's nearly gone down anyway, and that burn's going to take it out. And uh, that's pretty much game, so... Uh
good game tonight. It was a really, really decent game. Nice and close. And um, I'm sure we'll battle again some other time. So, yeah. Um, so, answer that question today. Um, what Pokemon would you like to see me to use uh, on my Saturday stream, this Saturday stream? Um, leave a comment in the comment section. Um, I've probably got one more I'm a little bit iffy about that I'm not sure I want to use, so I could easily swap that in with something else. But um, if you enjoyed this battle, please leave a like in, on the video as well. Peace out, everyone.